Hey, Danny here. We're going to do a little predator trapping. Um, on the edge of a food plot, right here, and you can see it's pretty brushy. Coming up along the edge here. Old row bed, right here, goes back into some flooded spots. And um, I picked this corner right here. I've seen bobcats deer hunting over here before. So I uh, made me a big dirt home. Um, feathered it up real nice. Got a little perfect down the hole. Got a little... Um, our case predator plus down the hole. See so, you no know, beaver chewing right here on this tree. So hopefully we're gonna have some sign around here. It's been wet, so I don't see a whole lot of sign. But here's one of my first uh, bobcat sets. Maybe we'll get lucky and catch a kitty. We're uh, on the same field right here, about 50 yards down from the bobcat set. And I saw this dead tree where it fallen out into the old row bed and tree. And I just couldn't. I'll scoot back here. I literally. Just uh, couldn't pass setting this, so I made me a flat set right there. A little bit of coyote number one on the right side. A little bit of um, GL40 on the left. Just a little flat set and the trap pan. I bet uh, I bet we catch something around this edge here the next couple days. We shall see. I'm at one of the main roads that comes down to this little spot I'm trapping, and. Um, little swampy spot right over there this is the main road right here and what I did is, is I put a little flag up that's a little flag I made for Bobcat so when the wind blows maybe it'll attract him over this way and then I've got a covered in dirt hole right here it's got some feathers on it and um, hopefully we'll get a little lucky right there and saw some coon tracks over here so maybe before the coon gets in my set I'll uh, got a DP right here a few little marshmallows down there and some ADC's uh, predator uh, pay or um, some of the ADC's uh, uh, dry coon mix in there, and then in the dirt hole right over here, I've got a little bit of uh, cat collector and a little bit of um, RK's uh, predator plus. Out here in front of a little duck blind, perfect little spot. Edge of trees coming around. Big field on this side. Nice little spot right here from the wall at the edge. Got a piece of white rabbit fur hanging up right here, drawing a cat. Got a big old dirt hole. Then I'm going to put some uh, perfect down it and some RP, uh, RP uh, Predators Plus down it. And um, we'll see what happens here. Let him put a few feathers around it, spice it up some. I'm on a uh, big field here. And uh, you can see the road that runs right here. Got a tree line over there. And um, right here is a, I'm on a big clump of trees. Some oaks right here. And on the edge of that is this baited, uh, or this clump of dead limbs and trash. So I'm going to make a uh, bait trash pile out of this. I got two traps on it. I'll go ahead and show you this one before I cover it up. Uh, it's a Duke number four, laminated jaws. Um, it's properly bedded now, uh, pretty sound in there, and I'm going to cover it up. And then I'll go ahead and bait this and show you what it looks like. Here's the uh, here's the baited trash pile. What uh, there's the trap I just showed you that's bedded. It's right there in that spot. Right inside there is a little bit of Dobbins Trio Nitro, and inside that little hole in there also is a little bit of um, Dobbins Bobcat Melody to bait and then right over here there's another trap you can see to the right hand side of it there I've got a little stick that's guarding it stopping it from going in that little pocket right there hopefully but um, I've got a little bit of O-grade buzzard in that pocket and uh, another little spoonful of um, uh, Dobbins Bobcat Melody so this right here ought to be a good little spot for a fox or coyote I um, want to run down this trail right here and come around the corner and hold up here and hit this and poke their nose in a couple spots. We'll see.